Hey there you guys, Moonlight Butterfly Miku back again and I'm, today I'm doing something a little different. Now, as you know, I collect and I have a subscription to the J14 magazines, so this is one section in there that I really love. I've been subscribed to them since I was about like, well, about like 15, 16, I believe. So I just kept getting the magazines and because I feel like reading them still, but the one that really gets me, well, the articles that I um, love and is the... Um, life's biggest questions where people will write in and tell about their issues that they're dealing with which is cool and then they'll give helpful advice so being the sweet person that i am i decided to take my own spin on it um i'm gonna read the questions but i'm gonna give what i would do in that situation or relate my experiences you know things like that so i thought it would be fun to do that so i just pick up the questions that i think are the most interesting or the ones that i can relate to so Let's get started with that. So the first question that I found and one of my issues is from a girl named Eva. She's 14 and she says, I'm getting made fun of for being flat, flat chested. Now that I can definitely relate to. So let's see what she says. She's, her question says, I can't help but notice that I'm literally like the last girl in my grade to get boots. What's worse? is that boys and even some girls in my school have noticed too and they make little comments about me being flat chested i just want to hide help well eva darling i can totally sympathize with you on this because i myself was a late bloomer and even now i am 27 almost next month december 30th i'll be 27 and i am i'm not afraid to say it i am a 32b in bra size i always started out late and so I would get teased a lot about it. Oh, you're so flat, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? It's a blessing in disguise, Eva. Don't worry about it. You don't need a gigantic rack for everyone to notice because believe it or not, even girls with a big rack, they even they feel embarrassed about it because, you know, guys, hormones, that's the first thing they look at. So be thankful that you have a small chest. And plus, not only that, you're 14, sweetie. You're still growing. So... What I advise you to do is just, just love what God gave you. And as you get older, because like I said, you're only 14, as you get older, they'll grow. They'll grow along with you. So you do not need to worry about it. And all those little kids or whatever, friends or whatever, making comments about your chest, ignore it. Ignore it. Tell them you're proud of who you are. You're proud of your chest and everything. You love yourself. You love your body. And there you go. That's all. That's all. I had to learn to accept it too, because I went through my little insecurities about my chest. And even now sometimes, but hey, you know what? It's a blessing for me. Hey, people tell me I don't look my age. I'm Like I said, I'm going to be 27. But people really think I'm still a teenager. <laughs> That's the way I look. But it's a, like I said, it's a blessing. Accept it. Love yourself. And I hope that helped. <laughs> so, all right. Here's the next question that I found in one of my J14 magazines. And it comes from a girl named Natania. And she's 12 years old. And she says, everyone thinks I like my boy BFF. Uh-oh. <laughs> so let's see what the question she asked. She said, Whoop, okay. I made a new guy best friend last year and we text and call each other. Now my friends tease us saying we're a couple, but we're not. It's making him act weird. I even heard him going in on the jokes. What do I do? Well, here's a very common problem. The whole thing about guys and girls can't be just friends, which I think is completely false. Because I have plenty of guy best friends. Most of the guy, most of the people I hang out with are guys. I just feel more comfortable hanging with guys rather than girls. I do have a couple of close girlfriends, but hanging out with guys is just so much more fun. But I have not had any feelings for any of my guy friends. It just, for me, it doesn't go that way. I can be friends with a guy. We can play video games. We can go chill in the city or whatever. And there's no mutual feelings being like, oh, I have a crush on you, blah, blah, blah. Just make it clear, Nathaniel. Make it clear that I had no interest in him like that. We are just friends. Sometimes you just have to really like pour that on to make people see, you know, it's not true. And try to break the gap and see and um, prove that guys and girls can be just friends without it turning into a relationship because it is possible people yes so i would just tell and 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 straighten him out too. tell him yeah i don't like you like that we're just friends unless you like me like that but hey <laughs> just just laying that all on there i hope i helped a little bit anyway 
you don't, you know, just, just keep it strictly, you know, just friends, you know, it's <laughs> okay. So that was that. Here's another one that I found and this from a girl named Kate and she's 13 and she says, I might like girls and boys. So she's dealing with a little bisexuality issue here. So let's see what she says. In the last year, in the last year, I've started to feel romantic feelings toward boys. The only problem is that I also feel them about girls. I'm not even sure why I like both. Is this normal? Well, Kate, it actually is normal because you're at the age where you're just starting to figure out your feelings, your hormones are raging, things like that. I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times, but it is nothing to be ashamed of. It is normal. That doesn't mean that just because you're feeling this way now that you're going to grow up and become a lesbian or anything like that. I mean, this is an um, awkward time for you right now. So you, what you're doing, you're just trying to figure your feelings out. It, it, like I said, it doesn't mean that you're going to be a, become a lesbian, but even if that's so, that is perfectly okay. Look at the society we're living in now. It's okay to be gay. It's okay to be bi, lesbian, trans. It, it's, it's all accepted. So don't feel bad and don't feel like you're a freak or there's something wrong with you. You'll figure it out in time. And if it happens to be that you're bisexual, then let it be. If anyone can't accept that, then drop them. That's that's my advice to you, sweetheart. I hope you'll be okay. You'll figure things out. Don't worry about it. You're 13. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. You have plenty of time to deal with relationships and all that other stuff. So just, just chill for the moment and just go along with, for the ride, sweetheart. That's my advice for you, right? And lastly is um, a question I found and it's from a girl named Whitney. She's 15 years old and she says that her parents are so overbearing. Now we all can relate to overbearing parents. Even now I can relate to overbearing parents. <laughs> so let's see what she says. I am so annoyed. My mom and dad won't let me do anything. I'm not allowed to go to the movies with my friends or walk home from school by myself and every other person I know is allowed to. Plus, whenever I want to hang out with my friends, they always ask a million questions. How do I get them off my back for a little bit? All right, Whitney, girl, Whitney, darling, sweetheart, I, I sympathize. Parents are going to be parents. They need to know who you're going to be with, where you're going, is there going to be an adult present? What time are you going to be home? I've been through it. Been there, done that. I hated it, but hey, as long, I hate to say it, but as long as you're living under their roof and you're only 15 years old, sweetie, you got to deal with it. I'm sorry. You have to, but try and like talk to them so it doesn't feel like so, oh, they're always on my back. Just like when you want to go out or like, you know, just ask first. Don't say, oh, Ma, I'm going out. See you. No, don't don't go about it like that. Cause then they're really not gonna let you go anywhere, and you won't be able to enjoy your you know your life. Go out and hang out with your friends and stuff. So what I would advise to you, in advance, if you wanna say go to the movies with your friends, talk to your mom and dad first and ask, Mom, Dad, is it okay if I go to the movies at such and such a date with my friends? This one's gonna be there. That one's gonna be there. Maybe your parents will drive us there, and maybe you know if you if you work all that out, they'll let you. And maybe they come pick you up. I know you want to feel independent. Trust me, you, you're 15, right? So you've got time. By the time, I'll give it about maybe 16, 17, they'll lighten up on you. But also you have to prove that you're trustworthy as well. You don't want to like get them to trust you and then you go out and get into trouble and things like that. Because we all done it. Like I said, we've all done it. We all guilty. And then they really will be like, oh, well, we can't trust you. So I guess we have to treat you like a baby. We have to go with you everywhere. Blah, blah, blah. So what I would advise you is just, just open up the communication lines with your parents and tell them, you know, what you want to do. Don't keep it a secret because then they're really going to be prying in. But they probably do that for your rest of your life. Like I said, even at my age, I'm 27. Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll keep reiterating. I'm almost 27 myself. And even now, my mom, my dad is a little bit more lenient. He knows I'm grown. So, but my mom, she'll always be like, where are you going? When, when are you going to be home? Or, or you don't, don't come home too late now. I know she, I know she's is dangerous and everything that I understand, but I'm grown. So 
I'm going to enjoy. But for you, like I said, open up communication with your parents. Talk to them. Let them know what you want to do. And believe me, things will get a lot easier. Trust me. So anyway, guys, those were the four questions that I found. And I'll be doing more of this if you thought this advice was helpful. I mean, like, this was just my um, perspective and take on, um, on these kind of questions. But if you have any questions for me, if you think I can answer them for you, just drop them down in the comments below because I'm going to be doing this a lot more because I have fun with this. This is fun giving advice and it takes me back to when I was a teenager too. So any questions, I mean, you don't have to necessarily be a teenager, but if you have anything that you think I can answer, leave it in the comment, comment section down below. If you like this um, segment that I'm doing now, also give a subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to cut it here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. It is very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one, where I'll be answering more of life's burning questions. So, until then, this is Moonlight Butterfly Miku saying sorry. <laughs> Bye, guys.